Hello everyone, welcome to In 5 Minutes. We are going to study a concept called as frequency warping in this bilinear transformation. But first, let us obtain the relationship of geom axis in the S plane to the unit circle in Z plane. So, let S is equal to this and be the points on imaginary axis and corresponding points on the Z plane on the unit circle are given by Z is equal to E raised to J omega. By the definition for BLT, we need S is equal to 2 by T 1 minus Z raised to minus 1 upon 1 plus Z raised to minus 1. Now we can put S is equal to J ohm and Z is equal to E raised to J omega. Now J omega is equal to 2 by T 1 minus E raised to minus J omega upon 1 plus E raised to minus J omega. That is 2 by t e raised to j omega into e raised to minus j omega by 2 minus e raised to minus j omega upon e raised to j omega by 2 into e raised to minus j omega by 2 plus e raised to minus j omega. We have done this modification because the product comes out to be 1. Now doing this modification we get 2 by t taking e raised to minus j omega by 2 common e raised to j omega by 2 minus e raised to minus j omega by 2 upon e raised to minus j omega by 2 upon e raised to j omega by 2 plus e raised to minus j omega by 2 that will be 2 by t 2 j sin omega by 2 upon 2 cos omega by 2. Now we can see that this is the formula of sin theta and cos theta. Now j and j will get cancelled and finally we get as t is equal to 2 by t sin omega by 2 upon cos of omega by 2 that is 2 by t tan of omega by 2. Now this is the analog frequency. We can also write the digital frequency by doing some modifications that is this equation that is the analog frequency we will take the right hand side that is 2 by t into left hand side so it becomes omega t by 2 equal to tan omega by 2. So we will take tan inverse and we finally get omega is equal to tan inverse omega t by 2. This is called as the digital frequency. Now this equation can be used to estimate the digital frequency for any given analog frequency. Now comparing both the analog and the digital frequency it is evident that both the analog and digital frequency has a non-linear relationship because the entire negative imaginary axis in the S plane that varies from minus infinity to 0 is mapped into lower half of unit circle in Z plane that is omega is equal to minus pi to 0 and the entire positive imaginary axis in the S plane is mapped from omega is equal to 0 to infinity into the upper half of unit circle that is omega is equal to 0 to pi. Now this non-linear mapping introduces a distortion in the frequency axis. This type of distortion is called as a frequency warping. 